It's officially time. I'm going to get a freaking praying mantis. Here we go. Got it. Where is she, Zach? Right on top of your She's head. She's literally right on top of my head. Okay, cool. Locked in. Locked in. Oh, got it. There, oh my god, come on. This is insane, bro. <laughs> Joey Slam. What up, Slayers? We're back at it with another Slay Venture. And guys, with all the comments from the last video, it's officially time. I'm going to get a freaking praying mantis. Now, the rule of thumb is that the mantis enclosure has to be two times the size, tall and wide, of the mantis, especially with this specific species. I'm getting the easiest species to take care of so that I can show you guys how to take care of them, raise them up, how they're feeding, their behaviors and everything like that so that you too can take one, order one, get it shipped to your house and get one at home. Uh, this is 12, 12 by 12 by 12 and this one's 12 by 12 by 15. You can go with an exoterra right here or you can go with a front opening terrarium right here by Zilla. This is 12, 12 by 12 by 12 and this one's 12 by 12 by 15. I'm going to go with the taller one because the mantis like to hang on top. Watch. You see what I'm talking about when we go over there and pick one. Alright guys, so we have our enclosure right here, which is perfect. This mantis can live, live inside this enclosure its entire lifespan. So what I'm going to do is kind of pimp it out. I want to get some substrate, I want to get some vines, I want to get like a little branch where it can climb up so that it'll be able to pretty much make it as natural as possible, okay? And of course, the substrate we're going to use is Eco Earth. It's perfect. Very well known, very absorbent, so we can have it for the frogs, any type of other reptiles as well, but really good for insects, because we want to be able to have that in our insect walk around and everything like that. And we need to cover this entire enclosure, okay? So we have a vine, we have substrate. I believe, does this thing come with a light? I don't, does it come with a light? Maybe, no? If it doesn't, we'll get, we'll get a light in the future and stuff. But um, I want to get one more thing. There's like, I saw it online. There's just this small little tube. It looks like that. It's like a climbing branch. You see that right here? That one? I want to find one. This, I'm going to ask somebody if they have the one that glows in the dark. All right. She does not mind being on she camera? She does not. I do not mind being on camera. <laughs> Perfect. So we have all of the mantises here. Come check this out. So I can come oh over here if you'd like. Those are bigger ones. These are some of the smaller ones. This is crazy. These are the bigger ones you said? Yeah. yeah. Okay. These will be the big ones, and I'll bring out a couple more of the little guys. Check this out, guys. Size. Look at this. Can you guys see this mantis right here? There are so many mantises here, and I picked this one. Look at that. Oh my goodness gracious. So we're going to go ahead and pack this dude up, grab all of our stuff, and head home, and we'll talk more about this mantis and set it up. Oh god. Oh my god. This is all going to fall. Better drop it here. Hold on. Okay. What up, Slayers? Well, you guys wanted it, but we're getting it. I just got everything I needed for a very special new addition to the channel, guys. Let me get him. He's right outside real quick. The Praying Mantis. That's exactly what we want. I wanted before. I fell in love with it. And now, we got one as a pet. All right, now that we closed the door and got everything situated, check this out. Praying Mantis. Giant Asian to be exact, giant Asian praying mantis. She is looking right at me too. Hey, what? What's going on? They're super friendly, super cool. What we're gonna do right now, actually, guys, today in this video, is that we're gonna set up this home for her. What? So I'm gonna let her crawl up my body and just hang out. Look at that. This thing is so cool to me. Just gotta make sure you cover your nose, because if not, I'll go up your nose, and I don't want that. So she's gonna vibe with me, and I'm gonna talk about how to set up your pretty much your terrarium and everything like that for your praying mantis. So look at this, the praying mantis will just climb all over, get familiar with you, and then associate with you just like with our fish and everything like that. So what I have here is a 12 by 12 by 12 exoterra terrarium, to be exact. What you want is to make sure that the, the enclosure pretty much for the mantis is gonna be three times the size of the mantis and twice the size as wide as the mantis. So this is perfect because these guys get absolutely massive. It's the easiest species to take care of and one of the biggest. We have some eco earth. We have some vines as well because you need to make sure you have something that the mantis can climb around. And also when they molt, you need something that they can hang on because they have to pretty much escape their old body and get into their new body as they grow. 
Uh, I also got some lights so we can see her. And this cool little thing, I saw it on Amazon and I, I kind of fell in love because she was on the cover. Uh, just a glow in the dark branch. So she'll be able to walk, weave, something hard for her to pretty much hold on to right here and then break out. That's the main thing. You need to make sure there's a lot of ventilation, a lot of humidity, and the temperature's just right for these insects. So guys, this is the container she came in. I know she's a female based on, obviously, the breeder sex they're forming, but you can figure out the sex on their abdomen when they get a lot bigger, and we'll be able to figure that out together. Where is she, Zach? Right on top of you. She's literally right on top of my head. Okay, cool. So these are the enclosures that come in, some little, pretty much plastic lids with similar soil, like equal earth, just like that and it's slightly damp. You gotta keep it damp so that the mantid can go ahead and drink. So we're gonna pretty much replicate this just in a bigger scale with this terrarium right here, okay? So give me a few moments, I'm gonna set this whole thing up, show you the final product, and then we'll be able to have some fun, maybe uh, even feed her. We got some flies right here, some hydro flies, to try to go ahead and feed her today, as well as, I have, a, I have a fly that's been driving me nuts in the house, like nuts. I can't even, I, I can't even tell you how nuts this thing has been driving me. I'm gonna try to catch it and then maybe we can even feed her. But um, it's still, I'm still gonna get used to having something crawl on me. Um, I try to go ahead and try to swat anything that's around my body or my ears, especially mosquitoes when I'm out fishing. But I gotta get used to making sure that I do not kill her or squish her. Is she behind me? Where is she? She's right on top of your hat. Still on top of my hat. <laughs> okay, here we go with the glow in the dark climbing branch. And that is the entire enclosure, guys. We have a light here. It's obviously fitted for the extra te the Exoterra Mini, 12 and a half by 12 and a half by 12 and a half. Some vines for the Manta to climb, and a climbing branch, and that's all you really need. And you just gotta make sure that the ventilation area is huge. Like you see, there's a dual ventilation area. A lot of air is coming in, coming out. Your Manta is gonna be coming and walking around on the top as well. So it's gonna be looking good. I'm really happy with the setup. It's very simple. And she's already trying to go inside. Let's see if I can get her to go inside. Here, come go, go inside. Come on, baby girl. Here we go. Look at that. No, and she keeps coming <laughs> towards me. I've been loving her lately. She's super, super dope. I'm not sure what to name her at all. So guys, comment below. We should go ahead and name her. And I'll, I'll take them in the suggestions. Maybe do a poll on, uh, on Instagram and everything like that. But this guy is, she's, she's so unique. So we're gonna put her right in there. Let's see, let's give it a shot. Give it a shot. Come on, it's okay. I know you wanna hang out. They're very fast, like super, 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 super quick. This is not working. I'm trying to show you your new home. Go home, 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 go home. Go home, maybe, maybe if I grab the climbing stick. Climb on here, climb on your stick. Aha, that was a secret. And climb on your leaf, go ahead. Perfect, that's why I chose red so you can see her. But that'd be that. She's right there, she's chilling. She's gonna get really big. She's gonna get about, I would say the size of my hand. And that's about maybe five or six inches the size of my hand. So she's gonna get really, 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 really big. What's going on here? Oh, come on, bro. <laughs> but anyways, guys, so right now we have the mantid in here. I was thinking maybe I'll go run outside or run around and try to find a fly to go ahead and catch for a praying mantis. So, now the easiest place to find some of these flies are where there's trash. And as you can, I don't know if you can see because there's a lot of stuff going on, but if I open this, actually, I'm lying. On top of this lid right here, there's one. Right here, mm -hmm. oh, and it flew away. So there's a lot around this trash can. It happened one time, I left it open, and I had some fish in there, and after that, they've been making a lot of babies and doing that. So my goal is to open this up and try to at least snag one. Here we go. Got him. Got him. Right, got him right there. For sure. Snag one. Call me SpongeBob, boy. Look at that. So we have one here. I just gotta make sure it does not escape. Where'd you go? No, please. No, he didn't. You still see him? Oh, yeah, yeah there he is. Wait. Stay got I think she's in here. Things in here. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and grab it and then feed it to our mantid. All right, guys, we have secured our fly. We have our fly right here, if you guys can see. Kind of got squished in the process <laughs> when I was trying to grab it. But here we go. We're gonna try to feed our mantis. A praying mantis. So she might come out and get it, or she might take it from my hand. I'm gonna just take her out 
of our enclosure. Come on. Here we go. Come on. On top. There you go. We have our fly. We have our praying mantis right here and here. We're fly. Okay, just fly away. Oh, it's ready. Okay. Let me try to grab the fly. Perfect. Okay. So check this out, guys. Zoom in close to that and see. Here we have the praying mantis and a fly. And oh my god. No, she dropped it. Oh crap. That was so cool. Let me see if I can get it to do it again. All right, let's try this again. Let's see if she wants to eat. Come on. Oh, look, 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 look. She's gonna climb. <laughs> She's gonna climb on it, but is she gonna grab it? What is happening here? Did she grab? This is gonna be kind of tough. We have our fly, we have our mantis. Here's the mantis, here, look. She sees it. Strike. Oh, look at her face. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, my goodness gracious. That is wild. She's eating out of my hand. She just threw her food. She's taking a couple pieces. She's looking for it. She's literally looking down like, yo, I just dropped my food. Let me pick it up for her real quick. Why don't you throw it on the ground and see if she gets it? Yeah, you're right. Here you go, baby girl. Come on. Get away. That doesn't like being down there. It doesn't. It's literally like that. Why did you leave me on the ground? <laughs> here, come here. Come here. See, she listens. No. No, Snoop. Snoop, no. Snoop, back. Back, Snoop. Snoop. Snoop, no. Snoop, be good. Good boy. Be good, no, Snoop. Snoop, no. Oh, block my jeans. Get back in my hand. I'm getting attacked. Oh, my God, Snoop. <laughs> that could have been really bad. So make sure you keep your bugs and your insects and your praying mantises away from your dogs because, obviously, as you can see, Snoop almost took a bite out of this guy or just licked him to death. And he's back, look at that, back to sleep you go. Bye. Wow. So let's try this again. Okay. Let's see if she get her to strike again. Here you go. <laughs> try to imitate a fly. She sees it though. Here you go. Oh, hawked in. Hawked in. Oh, got it. She's amazing. How freaking cool is that? First time getting her feeding it to her, catching this fly, setting up the enclosure, and look at her munch. Just break apart that fly. She gets a lot of her nutrients from the fly, the water, that's why, oh my gosh, she's just making sure it's toast. Um, that's why you can't really spray her, per se, you just gotta make sure the environment's nice and humid for this, this specific species of mantis since she dropped her food. So I'm gonna go ahead and put her back right now. I think she's had enough. We'll catch some more flies. Maybe make a video where I make an actual fly trap where we have a lot of flies and we throw live flies in there and watch her in action per day on some of these flies. Okay, 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 you want to come? Here you go. Go, go back inside, here you go. Not, we're not doing this again. It's okay. You did good. You did good. Good job. Freaking insane, how cool. Well, Slayers, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment below what we should go ahead and make our brand new praying mantis, guys, and we'll see you on the next live venture.